many of you like math and are good at it? Raise your hands. One, two, three, four, and a half hand. <laughs> okay, out of a group like this. And that's actually pretty typical of the way it goes. And it's really sort of strange in a way because math is one of the most straightforward things. You get into sociology or all kinds of questions, there's all kinds of debate about what is the correct answer, what's really going on. Math is like two and two are four, period. You know, there's not a lot of debate on it. And yet there's so much struggle for kids about how to do it. And it's getting larger and larger. Actually, in the national, international tests, the PISA, Test, test kids from all countries. In the United States is 10, 20 out of 72 countries, it dropped down to 40th place. So we get sort of a C minus in this country for math scores. And of course, who's at the top? China and Japan, the Asian countries. And there's a reason for it. Like the culprit that's hidden in plain sight our language that we use about math is horrid. Eleven. Eleven is a three syllable word for something that I can't imagine. Can you imagine eleven? I can count to eleven, but I can't see dots and see eleven dots or see eleven things and know that that's eleven. But there's a name for it. Why do we do that? It doesn't make any sense. And 12 is the same way. You know what 11 means? I bet nobody knows, and even mathematicians don't know. What it means is one left over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. And they're not sure, but they believe that it comes from Roman numerals. X is 10, and then you count to 10, and now 10 was, you know, Right. 10 words, how many mm -hmm. we counted to. Mm -hmm. And then if there's one left over, that's what we call it, the number that's left over. And 12 is actually the same German and Dutch for two left over. Oh. <laughs> that's where they come from. And it just gets crazy. So 13 is sort of a bastardization of three and a bastardization of 10. And we have kids memorize this. So there's like this number line that kids are in. And they get to 10, and that's fine. And over the world, it's 10 is what is fine. You know, kids who reach 10 are about the same age. At age four, Asian kids can count to 40. American kids can count to 15. Now, why that huge difference in there? And a lot of it is language. A lot of it is language. What happens is, what we want language to be is transparent, have clear rules, and be accessible, easy to understand, and make sense to us for doing it. We don't have that with our modern language right now for math. It's used from way back, it's a throwback, and we can actually use the same system that the Asians use. After 10, we have all these words, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And by the way, what happens is when we get to 20, we reverse it. 15 is sort of a crazy way to say 5 and a crazy way to say 10. 5 and 10 is 15, but then 20, 5, we put the decade first. We switch it. Why? Who knows? <laughs> way, way back there. You know, so it's all crazy for doing it. So the simple math system that I propose is using the 11th word after 10, like Asian languages, like Asian languages, centuries they've done it, the 11th word is 100. How do they do it? One number after 10 is 10-1. Ten, two after 10 is 10-2. Ten, three is 10-3, ten, 10-4, ten, 10-5. And I use the number circle. So you go around. 
8, 9, 10, 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 2 tens. The Asians use the abacus, which is all 10 based. Mm -hmm. The number circle is 10 based, so it reminds you that that's where you're at. So you don't have to remember thousands of words. You know, if, if you have 128K, what, is, what does that mean? Who knows? 100, yeah. 128,000? Thousand. A K is a thousand. If you have a meg or a M, what is that? Megawatts. And what does that mean? It's actually a million. 512 and then a million. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, but we use those terms for doing it. And if you have five C notes, how much is that? 500. 500. So we use K and M and, and C this way. So what happens here is we get to 10.9 and we make it two tens. We go around, we got one ten going around, we go around twice, it's two tens. Or I shorten it to two T. But, <laughs> but it's actually pretty easy because then you go to three T for three tens. And the shorter the word, the easier it is to remember. So that's good to have. And then there's four T. Wait a minute, four T. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Five T? Well, close. Six T, seven T, eight T, nine T. All of a sudden, you're in a pattern, and the patterns are what makes sense. The patterns are what work for kids that make it easy to really work with it. There's a book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers, and he's got a whole chapter on math. And I highly recommend it if you Google um, outliers in book and math, those three words will give you the whole chapter will show up on your computer. It is wonderful you know, to explore that. And if you Google Mr. Numbers and counting, some of my videos will show up and you'll be able to see more of what I'm talking about here. So someday kids will use this system. That's what I'm trying to do. That's so simple and transparent for them to use. The only problem with it is someday they may ask you, why do you say 12 for 10-2? <laughs> and you'll have to answer that question. So good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you very much.